I'm getting ready to make some bacon and I wanted to share with you the two different kinds of pink salt or Instacure. There's Instacure number one and Instacure number two. And Instacure number one is something that you would uh, use to cure a ham or bacon, those kind of things, something that you cure for seven to 10 days. Whereas the Instacure is more for that like Italian meats, things that you dry cure over several months. And I kind of look at it like it's a time released pink salt, the number two. It's gonna cure over a long period of time. So there's Instacure one, seven to 10 days, and Instacure number two, that's for months. In the bowl, we have a cup of kosher salt, a cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of number one Instacure or pink salt. We're gonna mix it all together. <clears throat> Now that I have the cure mixed, I kind of think I want maple cured bacon. I think that would sound good. So I'm going to add about a fourth of a cup. And I'm just going to eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to mix it all together. We're going to use this to cure the bacon. We're gonna live it up big today because we added a tablespoon of molasses to our cure. We're gonna get this mixed. In lieu of uh, the molasses, you could have just used brown sugar from the beginning and that would have been fine. You would have got the same flavor. We'll get this mixed and get the cure process going. So now this dry cure will be enough to do 15 pounds of pork belly, believe it or not. Now all you do is you take your pork belly it comes like this and I leave the skin on when I uh, cure it and I'll take it off after we smoke it but all you do is you take some of your curing mixture and just rub it in all over the pork belly get the sides the back Once you get it completely coated, I put mine in a food saver bag. You could use a Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna try to get three of them in one bag. Okay, I have all 15 pounds of pork belly rubbed with the dry rub, placed in a food saver bag, and it's gonna go straight into the refrigerator for seven to 10 days. And every day I'm just gonna flip it. Rinse the pork bellies thoroughly in cool water. After you have rinsed the pork belly with water, the next step is to place it on some type of rack. I use a stainless steel V-rack, the type that you typically use for roasting meats in the oven. And I have found that this works really well. Um, I typically um, do about 24 pounds of pork belly at a time and I cut it into six pieces and it, it just seems like it works good for me. The next step is to take a paper towel and dab the surface of the pork belly, trying to remove any excess water. Once you've done this to each piece of pork belly, place the entire rack and pan in the refrigerator uncovered for 24 hours. It's been 24 hours and you can see that um, the pork belly has dried out and you want that because you want it to take the smoke it's, it's real important and I just put the whole V rack in my smoker and I put it at the cool end of the smoker I'm gonna smoke it um, between like 180 and and about 200 I want to get the internal temperature to about 155 it takes about three or four hours I have some uh, hardwood that um, I've let it go down to the coals and now I have some apple chips that I put in uh, water overnight and soak them and that's what I'm gonna smoke this uh, pork belly with. After it finished smoking I took it off the grill and put it in the refrigerator overnight and now I'm removing the skin and you can use this for 
to make cracklings out of, like for and use it in cornbread, that kind of thing. But I'm going to take this off now. Then go ahead and slice uh, the bacon and um, heat it up in a skillet. And I do mine over like medium to medium low heat because I really want to render out the um, the grease in this bacon. I don't want to heat it up too fast. I wish you could smell the bacon. Oh my goodness. I have some here.